So I've got the Retaliator, which is a top prime magazine fed blaster. I personally think it's more worthy of being a secondary. And then I've also got the Mediator, which is very similar, but it's pump action. And I feel it's more worthy of being a primary. So why would I even compare these two? Well, turns out there's more similarities between them than you might think. guys, Sir Mikey here. This is a video comparison on the Retaliator versus the Mediator. Let's get right into it. Pros of the Retaliator. You get more out of the box. Now, if you buy Retaliators new, which, by the way, they are like $100 each. So, yeah, they're definitely not a cheap thing to buy new. But if you buy your Retaliator new, you can expect to see not only the blaster itself, but also a 12-round mag. Um, a front barrel extension, a front grip, and a stock included with the blaster. Whereas with the Mediator, you get a very bare-bones bundle. Like, this is probably the only bare-bones blaster in the Modulus series, since when you buy the Mediator, you only get the blaster itself, a minimum capacity magazine, and minimal darts. And... There's no value packs for the Mediator either, unlike with the Retaliator. There was one back in, I think, like 2014, where you could buy the Retaliator and also get two 18-round mags as a sacrifice for its attachments. But yeah, that's the first pro. Next pro, it's definitely way more slim and compact than the Mediator. Now, I'm not saying it's, like, that compact, not like a strong arm or a hammer shot. I mean, it probably will never be as compact as those. But still, it's notably more compact than the Mediator. And if you put them side by side, you can easily see that the Retaliator is less than half as wide as the Mediator. And even if you only use six round mags with the Mediator, it's still pretty wide. So yeah, definitely not something you can holster. And while I get that the Retaliator would probably be more appropriate to put on a sling than, I don't know, in a holster... It's still just as holsterable as a Strife, even if it's not compatible with the more universal holsters, built for pistols like strong arms and hammer shots. And final pro, the Retaliator is far more traditional to use. Now, a lot of people know by heart how to operate a blaster like this. You just pull back the priming handle, take out the magazine, load that up, then reinsert the magazine, push the priming handle forward, then pull the trigger. Whereas with the Mediator, it's a lot more complex due to the ergonomics and, you know, other stuff going on. Um, now, it's mostly the ergonomics that makes the Mediator weird to use, but either way, people who are into more traditional blasters are most likely going to prefer the Retaliator over the Mediator any day. But yeah, those are all the pros for the Retaliator. Let's get right to the Mediator. Pros of the Mediator. First of all, it's faster because pump action is always going to be inherently faster than a top prime, mainly because you don't have to break your grip in order to use pump action. Your grip is already on the priming handle, whereas with top prime, you do have to break your grip in order to reach the priming handle. So yeah, pump action is always going to be faster, especially if it has slam fire. Yeah, the Retaliator unfortunately does not have slam fire, but the Mediator has slam fire capabilities. As a matter of fact, with the Mediator's slam fire, as long as you've got strong enough arms that, you know, can take a lot of physical activity in a short amount of time, you can fire up to four darts at once from this thing. Whereas with the Retaliator, if you even try to go that fast under single fire, just using it fast, you could potentially jam or break the blaster because the priming handle will just get stickier the faster you go. Which I found to be a really annoying issue with the Retaliator, especially in like actual battle scenarios where I had to switch to my backup, um, unload a bunch of rounds on my opponents. That got annoying very quickly. But yeah, with the Mediator, there's no worry about that. And Final Pro, it's more customizable than the Retaliator. No, it does not come with any attachments and it only comes with a six round magazine, but it is a bit more customizable than the Retaliator. It's got the barrel and stock attachment points that the Retaliator does, and also two tech rails as opposed to one. Not to mention, 
there's nothing going on like wherever the tack rails are. There's no priming handle for the tack rail to be on. Like, um, the, well, what I meant to say was the tack rails aren't like on a priming handle or anything. Like with the retaliator, that was a pretty terrible design to put a tack rail on top of the priming handle. And I get that that was a reshell of the recon where, you know, those kinds of designs weren't that great back then anyways, but still. They, they did that with the Maverick, too, and I'm super peeved about it, but either way, um, the tack rail on top is actually usable, unlike the Retaliator tack rail, because not only does it make it really awkward to prime, but seeing as how it used the old N-Strike tack rail design, um, the attachment could often just pop off as you were trying to prime it. And this is especially evident under stronger springs if you plan to modify it all. So with the Mediator, if you plan to use a stronger spring but also still remain to use um, N-Strike attachments, then um, you're not going to have to worry about that with the Mediator. But yeah, those are the pros and cons of each. Let's get right to which is better. So which one of these blasters is better? Well, if you want a better secondary, I would 100% pick the Retaliator if you'd rather have something that's holsterable. Now, if you want a secondary that you just throw on a sling, then of course pick the Mediator, but if you want something you can put into a holster instead of a sling because, you know, you're already throwing your primary around a sling or whatever, pick the Retaliator 100%. I mean, this thing is a lot more compact than the Mediator and will much more easily fit into a holster or a sleeve or something. Whereas the Mediator, no, that's not even possible with a blaster like that. However, if you want something that's more primary worthy or something that's a better secondary that you can just throw on a sling, um, then pick the Mediator, of course. It's pump action, slam fire enabled, and like if you're just, if you don't care about how compact a weapon is, then none of the stuff that the Retaliator has is really going to be relevant. But yeah, um... So depending on what you want, either the Retaliator or the Mediator is going to be better for you. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. This will be my last upload of 2021, of course, because, well, I'm recording this on a Thursday and tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Happy New Year's Eve, everyone. Bye.